upon you once more. Eric, what a splendorous place. And the perfect venue for my dance. You have made the preparations, I trust. I regret not. I require further time. Ah, uh, fear not. I shall wait with anticipation. I sense a presence in this place that I haven't felt in a long while. Yet, it is more familiar than I could have imagined. I must allow myself to become as splendorous as this hallowed hall again. Oh, how I wish to have another's arms around me once more, our bodies as one with the music.
engines cross near. I can almost taste it. Take heed. You must be cautious in your pursuit of such power. Do you know its strength? It is a strength that belongs to me. All my own. I am the definition of such might. My heart is lightened. A receiver of a great gift. A precious one. Let me help you. No. No. It is my time. My turn. My power to manipulate as I wish. Forbidden power overwhelms by its own unique means. One that can never be relinquished by the person, no matter their will. You do not have the right to carry such a burden. Who has that right? 
No one. should not be here alone. I lead a solitary life. We are quite content. You are not content. You have concocted a plan, but you aren't sure of it. It requires modification. We all change. From young to old. Day to day. Year to year. Past to present. But change is preferable to being lost, is it not? You are not lost. What have you lost? My beloved toys and games. It has been a long while since I have experienced joy from them. Where? That is where I require assistance. I do not have an inkling. Will you help? Did you find my toys? I will do without, once more. Please keep looking.
you were not consumed by the whispers that haunt from whence these flowers came. I would have never dreamt that such beauty could survive in such a cursed place. I am deeply grateful for this gift. Now I may mourn my husband as a wife should. pass once more. To what do I owe the pleasure? one approaches. Come, let me take a good look at you. I sense hesitation in you. My appearance disturbs you. <laughs> I have seen horrors greater than what is before me. That I understand, for it has grown dark around these parts. The joy slowly ebbs away. There was a time when we would dance. Frolic together, in harmony. 
But for some, that joy would never be enough. Their pursuit of perfection and immortality snuffed out what we already held dear. We danced through days and nights, through purple flowers. A delicate yet hardy construction, stone and wood dependent on them. A comforting crib on which to rest your head. What is this place? A ruin, twisted and mangled into a writhing beast. The grotesque beast of corruption. But beauty dwelt here once? Indeed. I remember it more vividly than ever. And the dancing, the masked balls I organized were legendary. Would you perhaps consider another? To whom am I favoring? The Lady Annika. She desires to dance once more. I believe she would require a grand venue. One where the beauty of the dance will appear on all walls. A unique place where even one dancer would make a room seem filled. I believe she would require...